I remember when you came back from that meeting with Bruce, how you, maybe a couple of days after that, you were talking about, this is a legacy that we're gonna pass on to the next generation, right. you know, people to take over Whiteman's and, you know, kind of, we understood from the beginning that. Right, we're just temporary stewards of this. And, and we're the so caretakers it's, yeah. of this place. Right. Whiteman's is a tradition. Whiteman's is a tradition. Whiteman's is a tradition. And my name is Gloria. And this is my sister Missy, Dottie, and Susie. We are Whiteman's. Uh, this restaurant has been in our family since 1870 until we sold the restaurant. It, it really is a lovely place to come to eat and fun. Wideman's is a tradition in Meridian. It's known for its food and its hospitality, and we've been coming here so long, we wouldn't think of going elsewhere. My name is James. I've been in Wideman for 29 years. I'm a waiter slash cook. A lot of them kids came up through the family. I waited on them when they was little. Now I'm waiting on them. I'm waiting on, I done waited on several generations of family, at least four. I done seen four generations. And they still coming. We enjoy the place. It's just tradition, you know. I'm Marsha Bayer. I make a lot of the desserts, and I've been here since July of 2010. Well, I was a friend of Chris Frazier's first. We were artists. And when she said Charles was going to do this, I said, I want to help, I want to help. And I don't think they took me seriously. But I did. I've been cooking since I was 10 years old. So I said, I want to do it. It just seemed the right thing to do. Uh, Wyman's has been, you know, years ago, it's been here since 1870, but years ago they used to call it the restaurant. I mean, there weren't a whole lot of other choices, but it was the place where it, it was the hub of the city. And uh, even now on the walls we have pictures going back, you know, 70, 80, 100 years. Um, and, and so it's kind of a repository of Meridian's history. We were uh, working on a downtown project called the uh, Riley Center, which was a renovation of the 1890s Opera House. Dr. Patera, who led that effort in the restoration of the Opera House, told us that we needed to continue a Meridian establishment for the McWilliams family that had been so successful and well-known in Meridian. Uh, Mr. Young's father, Charles Young Sr., was very instrumental in getting the Opera House redone he really helped us uh, get this project going as well. This is a national landmark as well as a local landmark. Uh, we get people, tourists, from all over the world. They've heard about, you know, the world famous uh, restaurant here at Meridian that has the uh, peanut butter and the peanut butter jars and the crackers on the table. This restaurant was renovated and upgraded. Uh, if you notice the outdoor balcony, when you come over to 22nd Avenue overpass, I mean, it's just beautiful. Especially, you know, at night with the lights on. And it brings tradition, but it brings style and class to Meridian. And uh, it's been a focal point 
for 150 years. The two favorite desserts are the black bottom pie and the lemon icebox pie. Well, anybody who likes chocolate would like it. It's my favorite dessert. Uh, I guess part of it is because I remember it when I was a little girl. I ate this when I was a child during World War II. It's, I mean, it's one of the original recipes. There are lots of stories, uh, lots of stories, and a lot of people's memories in Meridian started with, you know, here at Wideman's. Wideman's, it's a tradition. It's a tradition. It's a tradition. Wideman's is a tradition. I think that a lot of the population of Meridian have an emotional connection to the restaurant. Um, they've been coming here for some of them 70, 80 years and, and they have such fond memories of it and it's been a part of their lives uh, from childhood through adulthood. Um, you know, it's been the center of many events, weddings, anniversaries, all kinds of different celebrations. And so it's, it's a, a large responsibility for us to undertake. Um, and we realize that we are just stewards of the restaurant, that we may own it in name, but really Wideman's belongs to the community um, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Just about everybody when they come to Meridian they got to come to Wideman's, you know. I, I had a, for some people the other day said when they vendors come in when they, they ask what a good place to eat, they immediately say, Wideman's, yes go. <laughs>